know. I've never seen anything like that. What the actual... When I look in the sky at night nowadays, I've got the knowledge that I didn't have before. I don't know what that was. That there's something out there and it's real. When this whole thing started, I tried to tell people about it. No one believed me, but now I do have evidence. Someone is going to be hard for me. <clears throat> they encountered something over the sky. Most sightings of UFOs can be explained. Oh Only a small percentage can be. It was giant, quiet, and it was amazing. Within less than a second, it crosses right in front of me. Poof, and it's gone. And then, bam, the New York Times story, it changed everything. This is it. This is when the government is going to reveal the truth. Oh my God. It was a bombshell, right? That's what it was. Whether you accept it or not, some people actually saw this stuff. People are actually going to believe us now. Imagine if it was acknowledged officially that UFOs exist. <laughs> Our own divisions would suddenly feel so much smaller. It was dark money. Even members of Congress don't know it's there. This is too big to turn away from. There's something in our skies, and we don't know what it is, but there's something coming. The world needs to get ready for what's about to happen. Psalm 110 The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand, until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thine enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. The Lord hath sworn and will not repent. Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at thy right hand shall strike through kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the heathen. He shall fill the places with the dead bodies. He shall wound the heads over many countries. He shall drink of the brook in the way. Therefore shall he lift up the head. After the tribulation of those days, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him, even so. Amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. And I saw heaven opened, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon him was called Faithful and True, and in righteousness he doth judge and make war. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and he had a name written that no man knew but he himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and green. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. 
treaded the winepress of the fierceness and wrath of Almighty God. And he hath on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Rakata Yahweh Shah, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shah.